Okay, so a new Raspbian update was just released on the 5th of February 2020. Uh, there's multiple changes, uh, and if you scroll down through the blog, and I'll put a link in the description for the blog, uh, there are all sorts of things that have changed. Uh, if you want to update your current version, uh, you can do, and you've just got to put in sudo apt update, and then sudo apt full dash upgrade in terminal. But uh, I've downloaded a new image, uh, and all the new images are up on the Raspbian downloads page, uh, and you can see, and the one I've got is uh, Raspbian Buster with desktop. Uh, so not with all the extra recommended software, this is just a smaller download. Okay, so File Manager has changed a little bit. They've changed a little bit of the look of the folders, but also they put in this Places part, which shows your external drives, which I think is a nice touch. And there was something they mentioned about uh, these arrows and that expand things, but I didn't really go into that. And another nice little touch, if you're used to using Windows, is now Control alt delete does that. So if you want to shut down your computer very quickly, you can just press Control alt delete press Enter, and it will shut down straight away. If you're looking for Task Manager, which was Control alt delete uh, you now have to press Control shift escape And what they're saying is this mirrors exactly what you get with Windows, so they've made it a sort of more unified experience. So there's plenty of comments on the blog. If you've got any questions, obviously you can get straight through to the developers by adding a question to this. There's still no official USB boot, but you can use Berry Boot for a super easy way of booting multiple operating systems from an SSD. I've got a video, I'll link in the description. The blog mentions that USB boot is some months away. From the comments section, C. Jan said Chromium is 80 now, uh, which is the latest version. And uh, so the reply from the devs is, yes, but we need to merge in the custom video acceleration which uses the Raspberry Pi's hardware to improve video playback before we release it on Pi. This is a non-trivial process. It also mentions in the notes uh, not to use Firefox as it's not optimized for video and uh, in the way that Chromium is. So it doesn't look like YouTube 1080 support has been improved, but I'll give it a try anyway. So let's type in YouTube. And Raspbian has been improving uh, little by little all the way. The mouse responds a lot more than it used to. Uh, it just feels a lot slicker, and, uh, and it's a really enjoyable operating system to use, so they're doing some great work. Right, so let's find something with a little bit of movement that we can... Maybe we try something like football. And then let's pop that in 1080 and full screen it. Yeah, I can still, yeah, it's not smooth. Okay, so uh, nice to know that they're working on it. And it's nice to know that it gets regular updates. I better quit out of that before I get in trouble. So this was running on a non-overclocked. I usually overclock my uh, versions of Raspbian, but this is non-overclocked. And it still feels nice. It still feels uh, pretty, pretty smooth, pretty good to use. As I say, the only thing... I think the only thing mainly that we're waiting on is, uh, is the video support for YouTube. It would be nice to see 1080 YouTube working on it. Uh, I'm sure it's not too far away. Anyway, so I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. I'm going to Control-Alt-Delete and press Enter. Please like and subscribe.